Welcome to Easy Signature Installation and Quick Start Demo. No advanced installation or IT infrastructure is needed. Just copy Easy Signature to your computer and start the software. The software will ask you to perform a demo if no valid signatures are found. Before we continue, follows a short information about the digital signature workflow and the demo itself. You need to define one or more signature issuer responsible or company quality responsible in your company. The signature issuer responsible or company quality responsible will secure the identity of the employees and issue private digital signatures. The signature issuer responsible or company quality responsible can create unlimited private signatures to the people in the organization. The employees or members of the organization can sign any file using their private signature file. The signature issue responsible needs to have a company certificate to be able to create private signatures. The reason for this is to secure your company identity and the signature issue responsible. However, a demo company certificate can be used by anyone. To obtain a private signature file, the employees need to fill in their personal information and private password. This information will be inside the uncertified signature identification file. The following demo shows point 2 and 3 in the image above using the demo company certificate. Please fill in your personal information. Please enter a valid email address here. If auto notification is enabled in the software, it will send notification to this email address about the files that contain your signature. Adding a scanned real signature is highly recommended since many regulatory compliance authorities accept scanned signatures. In addition, the signature will be visible in the software and in paper copies of the digital signature. However, adding a scanned real signature is not necessary since Easy Signature uses secure cryptographic PKI technology for ensuring digital integrity of the signature. Make sure to use the maximum of the preferred size for better image quality. You can use any image editor software to modify and resize your scanned signature to appropriate size.
An example of a free and very useful image editor is paint.net. Protect your signature with a password. Notice that your password will not be visible to anyone else. It is used to protect your private signature file. Notice the password strength box. Choose strong password. Notice that for this demo we are using a weak password. Now we have created an uncertified signature identification file. We need to send this to our quality manager or signature issuer to obtain a private signature. In this part, the quality manager is going to use the demo company certificate to generate a private signature file using the uncertified signature identification file. We select the demo company certificate here by pressing yes. Choose the uncertified signature identification file that we just created. The content can now be modified for the last time by signature issue responsible or quality manager. Random data is now collected to generate large prime numbers. Save the private signature file in a secure place. It is recommended to save it in a USB drive together with Easy Signature software. Notice that the private signature file is password protected. However, it should not be accessible to the public. It is recommended that signature issuer or quality manager also deletes local copies of this file. The public signature info is now safe to store in a public folder. This file can be used by others to add people to a signature for later signing and auto-notification by email. It is a good idea to put the file in a folder with read-only access to everyone in the company. You can open the private signature file here. Notice that if you put it in the same folder as Easy Signature software, it will automatically be loaded on startup. Notice that the active signature is visible here. It is now time to digitally sign a file. Drag it to the Easy Signature dialog or click on Sign a new file under File Signing Workspace. Here it is possible to add additional information to the signature.
you have a number of functions here. Let us view the save as before signing. This can be used to create templates. Press the load button to open templates or other signed files. You can click on this button to review the file that has been signed. You have additional functions here. Move the mouse pointer over the buttons to get more info. It is now time to sign the file. Your signature is protected by password. You will see the progress here. It will take only a moment depending on your file size. Your digital signature appears here. You can click on the digital signature button to get more information. The digital signature cryptographic details are visible here. Thank you and please do not forget to donate.